chairperson of the All Progressive Congress, APC Lagos State Chapter, Joe Ibokwe, has mocked the unknown gunmen who have been terrorizing the region for a while, saying that they are begging Abakiari to stop hunting them. Really? Because that the Nigeria Police Super Cup Abakiari and his special squad were deployed to the southeast region to help security operatives to eliminate criminals from the region. Ever since Abakiari and his team arrived at the region, several persons said to be part of the unknown gunmen have been on the run, while many of them have been killed. Apparently, feeling excited over this, the Lagos State APC spokesperson took to his Facebook to joke that the unknown gunmen are begging Abakari to stop that they don't want to fight again. Really? The activities of the unknown gunmen had almost turned the southeast region to a war zone. These criminals burned several police stations and operational vehicles. They ruthlessly killed several security operatives in the region thereby destabilizing the security structure of the region. We hope that Abakari and his men will continue hunting down these criminals. Okay. Um, I think uh, we have not been hearing from uh, Lorenzo Noche. We don't know whether invariably, stylishly, Joey Bokwe has taken over from them. Even Ahmad Basha, especially Lorenzo Noche, it's like this man has taken over. because Maybe because uh, they want to... The president is trying to make sure that the Senate approve uh, Loretta Noche to be electoral, be INEC uh, commissioners or so. And the reason why they said they are not going to approve her is because she has been so partisan and she's part of uh, the APC. And maybe that's why they are using that style. Uh, she's not been speaking again. You see them? So if really she's not partisan, she should have continued her work because lately I have not heard from her since uh, the, they have sent her name back to the senate for approval she has not been talking she's been quiet because what she's been accused of if really she's is it, it, what she's been she's been accused of is not the right thing i don't think she would have stopped she would have continued with her because they, but they know what they are doing everybody say no it is not right you cannot use somebody of that nature in in a in what's supposed to be an independent organization but they will not hear they act in impunity they pick and choose the kind of law they want to they want to go with and they will be telling you they are law abiding oh uh, they are democrats it's just all they are all lies so joy bokwe is now the mouth uh, speak because now mouthpiece of a uh, apc that was what he was doing but his present role now is the minister or whatever they call him is the one in a uh, commissioner for uh, drainage and whatever in lagos so he's not the spokesperson as we speak now because that was what he was doing, but now it's like uh, they are trying to bring it back to him. Is the national APC? Is he not a national uh, uh, spokesperson of the APC? But that being said, but to him, he feels that uh, the unknown government are now begging Habakari. So if this Habakari is this uh, powerful, why is it that uh, this uh, Fulani S men and the the terrorism going on in the north has not been reduced drastically? Because it's it is it's ironical with this. Uh, this whole thing. The mind might be good, but the issue is that since it's, too, it's good in this manner, I hope, I, I expected that you should have done the same thing in the north where they have problems here and there of uh, banditry, kidnappers, uh, rustlers, and what have you. Abakari and military were killing innocent Igbo youth. They don't face the gun, unknown gunmen. So where did unknown gunmen beg him? It has been proved that the unknown gunmen were bandits from the north. So all what you saw were drama organized and played by the north. Abba is a coward. He can't face the unknown gunmen, but descend on unarmed youth to save face. It was the army mostly that did the killings, not police that ran away. Okay. Abba carried to meet me one on one. Man past man he is a coward. He must state will be the last road on earth or last his last road on earth. A wise man control his tongues, his tongue and speak with wisdom. Kayari is a super cop only in politics. He should deployed he should be deployed to the northeast to save his people. Charity they say begins at home. Yes, simple truth. And we have found out that uh, you can imagine oh my god. And a lot of people, well, it is just the wicked people that are running with that. We have seen a lot of people that have been killed, confirmed that they are innocent. 
and they have killed them. Some day we just just arrest them, display all these uh, weapons before them and snap them, video them and send them to send them on social media. Is that how it ought to be? Is that what why would they now pronounce them guilty without even going to court? You just arrest people prrr, and you you is that how it's been and, and people are falling for that. And we have educated people in this country. Of course, they have talked. We have lawyers. We have learned people as far as law is concerned. And everybody is still looking. It has now become a normal thing. Because they will talk, 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 talk. If the head is not all right, the whole body is rotten. The whole body is rotten. What do we call this kind of a thing? What do we call it? A lot of innocent people are being involved so if really they are professional enough, the people that they are, they are arresting should be the real people who have committed this offense and let them face it. But when you begin to bring a, you begin to arrest people indiscriminately, then who do you expect to believe you even when you arrest the real people? Because you have not done your due diligence, it's just to make a noise, to just make this and that. If this man is good as uh, Joe Ibokwe, is portraying, I don't think uh, we should be having problem again in the north, in the whole of the north. Well, no beg in these issues. They must be owned and killed at slight at sight. Eliminate them waste and wasted and stubborn rats. Bros, I respect you by saying this. They never see anything, okay? Hmm. New Zealand gun governments is a zoo. Is it by force to stay together with animals? I laugh. Unknown government are restrategizing. The return will be very bloody for zoo forces. Hmm. Who is saying that? Is Joe Gokwe really an Igbo man? Okay. Don't worry, brother. He will come back home. Someday, I pray, and the blood of the innocent youth kid will haunt him and his entire generation. They don't see all of that. A federal government has paid some people up. Do you understand what I mean? Uh, instead of some Igbos to be happy, they are bitter about it. No, some of them are not bitter. They are not bitter because of this bitter about the innocent people. Do you know a lot of people that they are arresting? Those who are supposed to be professional. Do you know the, the innocent people they, they have been arrest they have been arrested? Do you know? Well Igbokwe is not people like uh, people who are supposed to talk uh, uh see uh, to talk you as someone who has lost his senses you are completely un unreasonable Ma, who and who kid, if not innocent people that they are killing the innocent people that is what and we have seen is we have seen some people who are innocent and some people are still languishing you know they said they always take them from the southeast to whether niger city suleja or abuja underground what do we have to say to that it's unfortunate really really unfortunate that we the way things are being done in this country they are not done in a normal way